Okay, I know this is an insane title, but hear me out. I was browsing Netflix and I stumbled across this show. And I think to myself, why not? I've never seen a K-drama before. What could it hurt? And I absolutely love this show. And it was so cute. It made me wish I could be an autistic attorney too, just like Woo Young Woo. You see what I did there? But I know that's not going to be enough to convince you. So I made a PowerPoint to illustrate my case. So with that said, here's why I want to be autistic. <laughs> Three reasons why God should let me in the club. Reason one, I earned it. I deserve it. I work hard. I work very, very hard, especially at these videos. If anything, at the bare minimum, I deserve it based on the effort I put into my videos. Reason two, I'm already neurodivergent. I have depression and ADHD. It would be easy for God to just swap it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not asking for store credit or a refund or anything. Just a simple trade. Reason number three, please. Yeah, that, that's it. Please. Pros and cons of being autistic. Pro, you get to be really good at something. Con, you can't pick that something. Pro, you get dopamine learning about something you enjoy. And I have depression, so like that's like extra bonus points, if anything. Pro, you know a lot about trains or planes or 14th century architecture. Con, society refuses to understand you or show you compassion or give you patience for being different, leaving you to feel ostracized. Pro, detail-oriented. In my quest to become autistic, I've tried various vaccines. And in my thorough research, I come to the conclusion that vaccines don't cause autism. I've taken every vaccine you can get through a needle you can possibly think of, from shingles to bordetella to stuff you gotta get downtown from a guy and heat up with a spoon and none of it's work i'm still holistic so my last hope is to get autism through osmosis so i'm going around collecting autistic people and befriending them like pokemon jokes aside this is such a cute show i don't know much about the accuracy but it is sweet how her dad tries his best to understand her will was starting a new job today and her dad is trying to walk her through everything as best as he can but he's basically teaching slash telling her to mask he's saying things like don't repeat other people's words don't say anything odd don't be too blunt etc etc and that brings me to a larger point something i realized about myself as i was watching when they were doing the flashback of her as a child i caught myself being frustrated and annoyed by young woo young woo and i had to pause and reflect why am i annoyed as a child i thought to myself just speak to your father it's not hard i found myself wanting woo young woo to be quote unquote normal and that's something i need to work on along with society we shouldn't expect neurodivergent people to be normal society should normalize being neurodivergent it's completely free to be patient when people are different whether they're autistic or not we shouldn't demand everyone to fit into the cute little cookie cutter molds that we have in society and i think it's healthy for everyone to question themselves when interacting with someone quote unquote different and ask why am i judging or cringing or demanding this person be more like everyone else for my comfort they aren't hurting anyone i have in the past unfortunately been guilty of internally or even outwardly demanding Ending, autistic people I know to be normal or not be who they are and I regret it because asking someone neurodivergent not to be neurodivergent is like asking me not to be black funny and handsome neither of us asked to be this way yet it is a cross we must carry rant aside if you see someone minding their business not hurting someone and they're doing something you find quote-unquote odd and your first thought is to cringe or be disgusted or feel malice towards them maybe stop being a dickhead and let them live their life and you live yours not to nitpick but I feel like saying she is the first autistic attorney is crazy. Like is autism a new invention in Korea? Did they just get the software update? Or do they mean like obviously autistic attorney? Because I feel like there's a lot of boomers who are autistic but there wasn't a proper term for it so they just had to learn to mask super heavy. Because I've seen too many men over the age of 50 who are super into model trains not to believe a lot of them slipped through the cracks because autism diagnoses were not a thing back then. I know a lot of autistic people get this enough so in no way am I trying to infantilize her or other autistic autistic people but i find myself rooting for her when she accomplishes things and i feel like people should be proud of each other more like as a society it should be more common i think there's a scene that she is on her way to work where she has to go through a revolving door and you can see her reluctance and anxiety about it but she overcomes it and pushes forward and it makes me feel a genuine sense of pride for her everyone faces things that are new or make us uncomfortable 
big or small, but it takes courage to overcome those things and step through that feeling of discomfort. And I wanted to give her a fist bump or a snack or whatever she wanted. Cause yeah, it's small, but as someone with a lot of anxiety, I wish people would see how hard I tried at something or things and went, here Bellos, have a treat. I'm so proud of you. Eventually a charismatic and handsome man helps her. And I also wish a handsome charismatic man would help me do things I struggle with. Like how to order at restaurants without rehearsing my order 20 times in my head or how to tell the homies I love them. I'm the kind of person who is just happy to see someone excited. So there was a moment during the episode where Wu Young Wu started to talk at length about sperm wells. And I understand it was a bad time as they were discussing an attempted murder case, but let the poor girl finish. She was on a roll. It's so infuriating to me as someone allistic to watch people dismiss and belittle Wu Young Wu simply for the crime of being kind of quote unquote odd or weird. She graduated at the top of her class and yet everyone is still treating her like a make a wish kid whose request was to pretend to be a lawyer for a day. It's aggravating just from a third party perspective to have grown ass adults treat you like you don't know what you're doing just because your brain is wired differently and also just arrogant because objectively out of everyone in the room she's most knowledgeable about law. Fuck yeah. Wu Young Wu shows up that pompous dude from earlier who didn't believe in her and didn't even want to give her a chance. Take that you four eyed judgmental limp dick tight ass suit wearing thumb your ass having possibly rich and handsome jackass. Suck it. I believed in Wu Young Wu the entire time. It's her first case and she is already breaking that glass ceiling. This is my first Korean drama but I'm curious if in like an anime the common trope of the main character always ending up with the beautiful or handsome popular character is common in these as well because I feel like that's what the show is insinuating that Wu Young Wu will become closer perhaps even date the charming guy and they are pushing it heavy handed too because early you see him receive chocolates from a co-worker and you look in his drawer to see he has received a lot of chocolate from people. My head canon is that he's actually gay or an asexual king and that's why he turns down everyone's advances even though they are basically throwing the cootie cat his way. This woman just called Wu Young Wu stupid and made her feel bad and I swear to burn down her home and that office building as well. I will fight God for Wu Young Wu's happiness and let her talk to me about whales. The entire episode presents Wu as a socially inept and awkward genius who doesn't know how to navigate life but she seems to know more people casually than I do and I touch grass sometimes. She even has more friends than I do. The woman who was on trial is also the woman from earlier in the episode who would babysit Wu Young Wu when she was a kid and at some point her verbally abusive overly jealous husband dies and I know it's supposed to be sad but all I can think about is wow she looks great for a woman in her 70s. Anyway the moment is sad mostly because Wu Young Wu feels bad but I don't really miss an old cantankerous man. I love that the show's idea of the guy flirting with Wu Young Wu is letting her talk about her special interest around him like yeah baby I'll listen to you talk about Sanrio character lore. Anyway she wins her first case and the episode ends with Wu Young Wu's dad having a moment with the CEO of the law firm she works at and if I know dramas possibly ex-lover he used to be a lawyer she recommended Wu Young Wu someone straight out of law school. My guess is she is Wu Young Wu's mother. He quit being a lawyer to take care of her and allow Han the CEO lady to pursue her career and not be weighed down by a family. Let me know in the comments if I'm right. Anyway after watching this amazing awesome TV show I have decided I won't stop until I become an autistic lawyer so that I can have friends who care about me help hot gilfs in my area and have a beautiful person at my job who doesn't mind when I talk about anime theories I have for four to five minutes because it makes me happy. I will appreciate your respect and patience on my journey as I figure this out somehow. Now enjoy this fan cam I made of Wu Young Wu as an apology for this week's video being so short. Autistic mind shining so bright I'm an attorney fighting for what's right stereotypes try to bring me down but I'll rise above I'll wear the crown unleashing my power breaking the mold I've got the strength I'm 